Hello viewers, welcome back to the Grey Ogre Games European Qualifiers. I'm Alfian and joining me is Bernit Brian. Yo, that Bern guy, Brian. Bernit Brian. Wait, well, I, I remember we had, we had another <laughs> name for you. <laughs> yeah, you forgot it already. I immediately. Forgot. Yeah. <laughs> the the burn, feel the burn Brian. Mm. That's right. Feel mm. the burn Brian. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Make it sound like I'm some um Zumba instructor. You're like Bernie Sanders, but instead of burning the vote polls, you burn your opponents. Hearts. No, you, you, you burn you burn their their face. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> no man, feel the burn, feel the muscle, that's it. That's work, right, work right. that squad. You're like the instructor, I like the instructor from Ring Fit when I played just now. <laughs> <laughs> but right. yeah, it's the our favorite matchup. From first round, JP Santorio, and from the the third round, Chris Rondi. Yeah. Rondi. So we've seen Rondi. Rondi, you know, has is like relatively a new not newcomer. Sorry, he's back in the scene. Oh, but coming out of that previous game where where he that's a tilt right there. That is what I would call a class A level tilt. I, I don't think it was. I mean, he didn't have much, you know, to go off on. That's true. Yeah, it was just uh, Reef had the perfect draw. Reef had <laughs> the tilt maker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so coming off of the previous game, I, I'm pretty sure R uh, Ronnie must be like pretty shaken. It's okay, man. He's still in the he's still in the top tables. He's still contender for top eight very yeah. easily. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, yeah, we'll see both players. Oh shit, no, just JP Santorio gonna go spiral and wrap his out of control. When we saw uh JP in the first round, did he win or lose? He won. One against uh, uh, just Sky Fire. Right, just Sky Fire's not not turning out to be a very potent deck in this meta. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a it's a deck of a previous meta. Yes, yes. Mm. But yeah, it's a good two drop by by Rondi there. Yes. You you want to see the birth of Mathis on two? No, you 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 are right. The the screen is blurry. Yeah. So there's a four mana card. Oh, it's, e it's either Tasa or a Reason Reef. I, I I think it's Tasa. Oh my gosh, the glare. Okay, so turn three, island into counter spell. Oh, he's going to pass. Okay, so I see he has Elios intervention in his hand. That's what I recognize. Mm -hmm. And uh, draw the bleeding pool. So this blue white control deck really gotten an upgrade from Taros Beyond Gods. They have the Dream Trawler. They have all the new Saga cards. The, yeah, the enchantments really work. The enchantments work very well. With the Teferi. With the, yeah, with the Teferi and the Blue-Eyed Control package. And uh, here's Uro. He's gonna... He, I, this is this is the not escape, right? Pre-escape Uro. Yep. Oh, he's escaping the Uro? Nope. Oh, no, 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 it's not escaping the Uro. There's not enough cards in graveyard. Right, right, right. In the forest. Even more mana. And Lace. Oh, a. Leaf King Druid. Oh, he's gonna... He's ramping out of control, sir. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. And uh, so yeah, it's just, just not past the turn. Yeah, it feels bad for uh, for Rondi to yeah. to just to just uh, counter a mana dog. Yeah, that I I don't think you do that. I think as a control player, what I would be interested in is like countering the the big payoffs, spot wiping many mana dogs. Mm -hmm. you know? And or contra yeah, well, still, as mentioned earlier, countering the big payoffs, mm -hmm. right? But you have not seen JP Santoro's big payoffs yet. Where are the big payoffs? There it. That's not a big playoff. <laughs> that's, that's a, a, <laughs> a Leafkin Druid. Druid. That's another Leafkin Druid. <laughs> Which makes me wonder to myself, does he even have it in his hand right now? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, no. no he's <laughs> Which means, now Critch has, the, has a more time to scout his hand so that he can perfectly respond to every mm, single mm, one mm, of uh, JP Santorio's draws. But the one thing he can't answer is a uh, Hydroid Crisis for X equals a lot yep. because that is an on-cast trigger. Correct. But um the... The what you call it? Uh, the blue green deck plays a lot of uh, ETB creatures, right? Oh, that's uh, Reason yes, Reef yes, and yes. like Cavalier of Thorns. So it's kind of weak towards the counter spells, but because right? because when you counter them, they don't get the ETB trigger. But then you ask, you ask the question again, right? Do you want to? Do you really want to counter the setup or the big payoff? I see. Like so, you definitely don't counter the Reason Reef, but you you probably will counter the uh, Cavalier of Thorns. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cavalier of Thorns does like. No, no there's a, a growth spiral. spiral. Right, growth spiral into another land. Still doesn't have anything in hand. 
wow, this guy is. You bet Zotoro is like a construction uh, builder because he's holding old bricks. Lol. I think I think he has. I think he does have a cavalier on his hand actually. You know, what is he? Is he trying to wait for Bronny to tap out? Maybe. I but I think. So, I don't know. Like a lot of people like to do that against control players, right? You just you just wait for them to tap out. But yeah. the thing is, the control player will, will never tap out. He yeah. will he will gladly allow allow you to just pass and just actually you know on the contrary, I'm I'm a firm believer of just. Slam it when you have it. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. if you don't slam it now, <laughs> when will you slam it? Yes. If you slam it later, right? They have more time to sculpt their hands exactly. and, get, and stock up on more co- more control spells. Yeah, just like just call their bluff. Like, do you have more answers than I have threats? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, of course. Uh, un- this uh, this is not uh this is not counting that when you have like answers to their counter spell, of course. Correct. But uh, in this case, I don't think he has any. So the thing is just like... Also take our uh, advice with a grain of salt because, you know, we're sitting here. Yeah, lol. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, Tassa's, Tassa's <laughs> intervention is going to be... You know, we need some like... We need oh, some so, so we see we see Ronnie casting a counter spell. So now, the, now, now Santa will be like, oh no... That means he has more counter spells in hand. Because ah. he just used a counter spell as a draw spell. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> you know, have I, have I ever told you how much I love Tassa's intervention? It's really good. It's so good. It's like dip through time or counter spell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Nine mana dip through time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to you don't have to really call it that like that. <laughs> Come on, man. I mean to get the full effect of dip through time, you need to pay nine mana. <laughs> <laughs> but it could be counter spell. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> is he discarding from hand size? <laughs> I think so. Oh my gosh, I'm not sure if JP Sadur actually has any uh, outs to this besides resolving a big. So he's just trying to bait counter spells with ghost spirals, but nothing's gonna happen. I think I that's his like. I think ghost spiral. <laughs> soon he's gonna like escape Uro, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Stepping three. three. Reason reef. Reason, Reason reef. reef. Yep. It will probably allow that to resolve, I think. Or is he gonna waste a? I think. Uh, so what you? What you? What will you do? I would counter. I, I would. I will let it resolve. Oh, okay. It resolves. It resolves. Because if you don't let it resolve, if you counter this, then the camera will start to come down. Okay, that's true. I'll counter this because oh no, he has he has enough mana for one counter spell. Okay, never mind. He has two, uh, he has enough mana Yeah, actually has two. But th- then I will counter it because I want to deny my opponent cards. Yeah. He might, he might be just a land. Yeah, that's true. But then he gets multiple triggers. He's gonna draw. Why not? That's another reason, Reef Man. So the wall is going back into So zero two is looking at zero four. Yeah. Waiting for Krish to draw his uh shatter the sky. Or the dream trawler, so Oh yeah, dream trawler. Dream Trawler really good when you have like this, seven cards. These blue eyed decks, they play one Dream Trawler? One. Mm. So oh, here so we come. Shatter the Sky. sky. Alright. Let's shatter the Sky. That's an efficient uh, board wipe. One for three, very good. Yep. Allows the. um th- this is, Which is why he allowed the Risen Reef. Right. Plays a three mana spell. No. Okay, so he leaves three mana up, representing one counter spell. But I think Santoro has two threats in hand. So. Okay. He, and. But he doesn't have enough mana to, to force both of them out. Yeah, he does. It's, oh, it's called escape. Yep. Oh, okay, he does then. Because he escapes Uro to bait the counter spell. Then he casts the ter- Cavalier mm. of Storms. Actually, very good play from JP Centurio. Yeah. Using his uh, Uro as like two cards instead of one. Correct. So, two so, opponent. so he baits the thing out. Then he casts the Cavalier of Storms, which Ooh. refills the graveyard for the second Uro cast oh. again. See, oh. you wouldn't want to cast the Cavalier of Thorns first. Oh, right? okay, you, okay. Yeah. Mm. Wow, very good play from JP there. Yeah, so now now the graveyard is loaded up again for the Uro to, yeah. to come back again. And is he going to cast another Leafy Druid? I think it's, it's like a yeah, Leafy Druid. Yep. Alright. So, what? trigger the Cavalier. What's happening? He's triggering the Cavalier. Oh. Why? So let me sh- let me get let's bring it up. I don't understand. Why? 
Oh no no, because he had Tassa is still in the Cavalier. Oh, Remember Tassa okay. is still there. Tassa is oh, still there. Tassa. <laughs> I can't see it. It's yeah, so yeah, blurry. Yeah. See, the blank card is Tassa. <laughs> so, so that's supposed to be Tassa. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. The one of Tassa. Is it, is it? Yeah, it's one what of Tassa. What does Tassa do? Tap, tap things, is it? No, it, it flickers things. No, no, the activated ability. Oh. I, I believe it taps things, so it answers Dream Trawler. Uh, Tassa... No, Deep Dwelling. Oh, whoops, wrong one. Yeah, yeah tap another Please target. tap another target creature. You just oh. counter the Dream Trawler. <laughs> <laughs> By just paying for mana, just tap down your large life linking flyer. Mm. <laughs> Go and exile the... The Cavalier Thorns. Oh, no. Okay. And he plays the Nasset, so which is pretty good, I guess. It stops all his uh, rampy... Uro, knock- Uro shenanigans. Yeah, Uro Gro- spiral shenanigans. He only has one ghost spiral left in his deck, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, but he's probably still going to cast the Uro from the graveyard, I think. Right. Gain that three life and... This Tassa, though, is really generating him a lot of mileage here. Mm. Tassa and Uro, not much uh, synergy, though. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> You'd hate to see them in the same room. Okay, but uh, yeah, here we go. One more Cavalier of Thorns. Oh, oh, the, the Reason, Reason Reef. Reef first. The Reason Reef, okay. Yeah, of course, he wants to get that full value from the Reason Reef. So, draws a card. Wow, this deck is really resilient. Yeah. So, he's going to cast an, the Cavalier of, or Cavalier of Thorns or Uro? Looks like Cavalier. I believe he's, yeah, he's going to cast a Cavalier. There's going to be two triggers. There's going to be the Cavalier's trigger and the Reason Reef trigger. Ooh. So now he's gonna resolve the Cavalier trigger first. Five lays the Castle Garambrick. No, nope. Castle Ardenville. Yeah, Castle Ventress. Yeah, that's okay. good. The trigger looks at the top. Uh, lays the land. Ooh. Scries one. Wow. So, so much. much value. So many triggers. And then as as that the Tassel's gonna flicker again, oh and then he's gonna deck himself out in a few turns. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna do it all again. <laughs> He's ga- where's that one off Tassa's Oracle? <laughs> yo, yo, this, yo, this is the road. It's like generating so much value right now. <laughs> so do, does he actually play the one off Tassa's Oracle? I, I don't know. I don't I think don't so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just just checking, just checking. So now he's gonna escape Uro again. Yep. So Uro's gonna escape. Wow, is Ronnie running out of? No, he has all the cards in his hand. He's just tapped yeah. Out. He just tapped out. He tapped out for the Nasset and the. Uh, both uh, and the es- Esper conquers death. Esper conquers death. Yeah. Yes. So uh, I hope that JP Santero doesn't draw a card. Yeah. Oh, why does he trigger? Uro's not elemental. Oh no no! Oh no! He flickered. He flickered oh, Tassa. Okay, he okay, flickered okay. Tassa. He flickered the uh, reason or uh, reverse Tassa. Cause, like I said, if he flickers the Cavalier more, he's gonna deck out. Right. <laughs> every every Cavalier activation, five cards go to the graveyard. Four cards, I think. Yeah, I never, I never thought I, I see ramp like a a good old fashioned ramp deck ever again. This is just like gr- green, green doing green stuff. Mm, yeah, but I think in the sideboard, I'm not sure if Centaur is gonna bring in the uh Agent of Treasuries. It might be too slow. Yeah, like, I think I think it's too slow. But as as, as you've seen, like Krish, like. No, does step out a lot and like Ooh, shatter, shatter the, the sky, sky comes in. <laughs> Oof. Okay, so he draws first. Okay, cool. And then there's a death trigger by the Cavalier of Thorns. So yeah. what was he want to put it back up on the top of his deck? Final 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 but no, your, it's but your opponent, yeah, your opponent has so many. No, he's really gonna do it. Yeah, he's really gonna do it. So it's a tutor for the end race, the one off end race four runners in his deck. But what really should it should be? It should be an Tassa's Oracle. Oh yes, yes. Instead of <laughs> instead of <laughs> <a> <laughs> <Enrys> four runners, <laughs> every deck should be running Tassa's Oracle. <laughs> and inverter of truth. And inverter of truth. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, your Tassa's Oracle ETB. Then instead, you flicker your Tassa Oracle with your Tassa. And you can Whoa. win again. Whoa! Right, <laughs> 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 <Ryan>, please. <laughs> so, escaping Uro yet again. Just putting so many cards into exile. Gaining more life. Delve. Delve. Like Hogarth. 
<laughs> see, see, he's removing cards from his graveyard so that when he casts the Immortal of Truth. <laughs> <laughs> he's so lame. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> you know, something tells me, right, when they saw, when they saw Hogak, they were like, you know what would be good? This, but except not so broken. Then they, they <laughs> 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 mm. I think... I think the game is slipping away from JP. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, Rondi is firmly in control. Oh, oh, so, yeah. oh, there's, oh shit, there's the no fairy. trigger. There's no trigger from the... For the Aspect Conquest death. He doesn't get any creature or place of in his graveyard. That's so sad. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it is literally... I mean, it's one, one chapter of the saga that you don't get. It's pretty bad. It's a pretty I good. Mean, it's a pretty I good could, chapter. I could think of worse worse things to happen in the world. And the fairy bounces the Thassa so that uh yeah. when he next casts the Thassa, uh it's vulnerable yeah. to a counter spell. Right, favorite passage kind of look through his deck. Very thin, yeah. What is the card on the right of Uro? Uh, that is it was Thassa. Thassa. It was Thassa, the deep dwelling. No, sorry, no the just deep dwelling. Yeah, the one of in the, the one of Thassa. Wow. Can you imagine that one off card that he drew so early in the game just really generated him so much value? Yeah, but but then again, he's still so far away from winning though. Yeah, we thought we thought when he generated such a big board when Chris was uh, uh, sorry, Rondi was tapped uh, out. And then just get shattered the sky. Just got shattered through the sky, man. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh shattered the sky. Uh four mana bot wipe? Yo, yo, yeah. You re- remember when Watsi said they weren't gonna do four mana bot wipes anymore? Then yeah. like slowly they break their promise like uh, language. Uh, it's not really a board. Why it's a minus four minus yeah. four. Then they print like then they print like Kaya's rough. Kaya's rough is so it's very strictly costed. So white I, white black black yeah yeah that's so strict. So I don't think that counts either. Shadow the sky. Uh, it's it it's not rough. It does other things too. <laughs> <laughs> Rough of God with a, a minor downside, I guess. Minor? <laughs> downside? <laughs> Is it upside because you draw cards? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's, not, it's, it's not even a strict downside, right? So apparently it's like, if you have Gideon Blackblade, uh, it's indestructible, and you cast out of sky, you draw a card, and then it more wipes, and then your Gideon doesn't die. Yeah! Right, right. Wow. So you can you can play Gideon and Shadow of Sky in the same deck. And I think they do. And of course, Gideon picks up and gives another creature indestructible as well. Oh, no. So, oh. <laughs> Yo, that's, that's so there's some big brain thing. Pretty good, man. Yeah. It's like, this is a Cavalier right here. I think... So, like... It feels like JP is falling to a trap as well. Where, like, game one with the blue-white control that you yeah. just... How you, uh, you, you just get trapped into their pace of the okay. game. How, how many games do you think Rondi won? Just because he won game one and the opponent doesn't know how to scoop early. Yeah. I figured that he'd have a hard time against those mono red players though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if you are able to like draw your birth of Matthews on turn two, that's pretty good. Yeah. And I, I don't know if the wall has defender. Does it? Because you can block Tin Street defender. Oh, yeah, no, it does have defender. It does have defender. Yeah. So you can block. Tin Street Dodger. Does it? Wait, wait, let's, let's check, let's check. Birth, Birth of, yeah. of Malethis. No, it's, Ma- it's, it's Mathis, yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. It's Malethis! Oh, Malethis, wow. Okay. Wait, yeah, it's, it's a defender, so it blocks Tin Street. Uh, Dodger, yeah. Tin Street yeah. Dodger, oh my gosh. Malethis? No, I always thought it was M-E-T-H-I-S. Is it like when you tip a fedora at a Lacoste Malethis? Malethis? <laughs> I repeat that Malatis. R- rip Malatis. <laughs> oh. This card is so good. It's so much value. Uh, uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's it, dry, I get, it draws you a card, I guess. Draws you a card and gains you two life and creates a wall. And this card actually hoses aggro quite a, quite a bit. Yep. I, I would say that the the blue white the blue white versus uh, red deck wins matchup is is not is fifty is fifty fifty just because of this card. Mm. So, uh, okay, he plays the birth of Malatis. He's going to search for a planes. Or bas- basic planes, okay. He mm. can't search for like a... He can't search for like a hollow fountain correct, or something. Correct, correct, correct. So, uh, at least, you know, Rolly going full ham on that Terros uh, full-up basics because he is playing a lot of cards from Terros. Yeah. So I think uh, Rolly I think Rolly is a returning player, actually. No? Mm. I've not... We, we have not seen him during our time mm-hmm. as like try-hards. 
he he re- and he I th- I he I th- uh the first time I heard his name was when he was playing during the players tour, the recent players tour. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, so Uro, I think Uro attacking. Yep. Wow. So JP is at thirty five life. Wow, life very relevant. Sh- surely a relevant factor in this matchup. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how else does Rondi win? <laughs> Why is J- opponent conceding? <laughs> but JP Santoro de- de- uh, decking out. So Tuss for meaning coming in. Okay, Tuss. Tussy Tuss. I'm gonna discard a... I don't think you discard your omen, right? So you discard two lands? <sighs> yeah, I think... Well, he is discarding oh, the omen. Oh, he's discarding the omen. Okay. Mm, okay. Well, he probably has his reasons, I think. Yeah, mm-hmm. he does. I think. Oh. Wow. Um, I, I just realized that Santorio didn't attack the plane walkers. Hmm. Yeah, that's why he just leaves it. I'm, I'm down. I I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, activation of the. It's good also. Uh, no, no Acti- activation of the Naset finds okay. the ferry. Lays another castle, Adamville. So now, now the Adamville is gonna trump the Uro. Five. Five oh, and he found the Dream Trawler. Oh, the bomb is here. The best card in the deck. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think, and and JP doesn't have uh, an answer to to the Dream Trawler except for the Tasa, which yeah. will never resolve. Yeah. We're living in the blue white control meta, folks. I, think it might be like 10, right? I wouldn't say ten. I wouldn't say ten, but maybe. But on round four, we're on round four, so round four, yeah. What time is it? So this four more rounds, right? It's it, it's five forty four. Yeah, anyway. Okay. 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 Nice. Thank you, Watsi, yeah, for another <laughs> blue white control meta. <laughs> no, but it's it's actually good to watch. No, good to like play. So Ilham says is uh, blue control meta is good to play. Fellow blue white control haters, please direct your hateful messages at Ilham Mulia One on Facebook. But the top table uh, wha- who's doing well? Monorail is doing well, right? Uh, no. Monorail. Yeah. Oh no. Well, Chris is on blue white. If we, I, I, we, if if Chris wins this, which I'm sure he will, he will be locked in top eight. Because that was three one one. Oh no no is no that would be two one one. Oh he needs to win one mm. he needs to win the next one. Okay, never mind. So attacking in with the Uro. Um yep, it gets charmed by a zero four defender. Okay. And the cavalier will will, will will hit through, I think. Now the question is uh can yes. Can Krish end the game? Does his dream trawler a decisive victor? Yeah, whenever you draw a card you gain one attack. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> Never mind then. So, makes a charm blocker for the Uro. You know, this. I like how all the pieces of the Blood Control decks, this, they slowly came out from like each set, <laughs> and then they just fell into pieces to form this, this mess this right in front of us. This abysmal. Amalgamation. This amalgamation of draw spells, counter spells, planeswalkers, and stuff that doesn't let you do anything. Right, so attacking in draws a card, does not miss this trigger, gains five life. I don't think it's a miss trigger. People have missed this trigger. No, I don't. Th- I think it's on purpose. Really? Yeah. Huh? I think this is on purpose. What do you mean? I mean, like he is. A, is it an optional trigger? Huh? What do you mean? What? No, no, no. So check dream trawler. It's dream. Yeah. Okay. I don't think I. I don't know if you no, can miss. When you attack, draw a card. Oh, so, so it's you not can't miss. Uh, oh, you can't miss yeah, it. Oh. Okay, but. For a moment. Yeah, whenever you draw a card, yeah. Well, this is like Ojutai. Yeah. It's like, like Ojutai. It is like Ojutai. <laughs> so, alright, Mana's coming up. I think he's going to try to cast the Tasa. A big spell, let's go. Nope, five mana. He's going to cast Nissa. Right. Nissa. That's a good big spell to counter. Alright. Alright, so round the up. Do counter you, spell? Do you want to counter this? You wanna waste your counter spell? Five cards in your hand, bro. If you Come on, Rondi. If you don't, we'll do it. Let's it resolve. If you let it resolve, doesn't this uh, mean Centauri has like 
an, inf- an, no, so, so, an arbitrarily so, big amount of So now, now around it is just uh, telegraphing that hey, I only have one counter spell. I'm only going to use it to counter your Nisa, uh, your Tasa. Okay. Because the Tasa locks down the Dream Trawler. Oh, okay, okay. But uh, this is so feels so bad. Right, makes the three three. I think if and they're coming in again. This yeah, the damage. Yeah. If so James and Doro is able to rack up the damage and keep creating those creature lands without any punishment, I think JP Centauri might actually win this. Yeah, so taking another three down to like sixteen or or, or something. Oh. I need to find asset. Alright, so escaping, escaping uh, Uro again. Wow, this blue green deck very resilient. Yeah, wow. Who knew that blue green could use the graveyard so well? <laughs> Beats me. <laughs> not, <laughs> not me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was most mostly a black green thing, but well, no. Okay. I guess blue green it was gets a soul time mechanic. Yes, but blue green is just soul time without black. So <laughs> right, <laughs> <laughs> right. So yeah. So I guess because green uses the graveyard sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Green does everything, actually. Green is a graveyard. Yeah. Recently, yeah. does everything. Yo, uh, yo, something tells me that Wizards just wants Green to be super strong. Yeah. And uh, guess what? You know, they're like printing like Commander's um, like, uh, sets, right? Yeah. You know what else is strong? There's, there's a Commander box, right? Yeah. And it's the guess what color is coming out? Green. <laughs> I, think it's to, I think it's fair to say that Green is one of the strongest colors in Commander, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And well, in Magic, strongest. in Magic, I guess. In, green, in Magic. Green, green is no, it is. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you remember the last meta when we had like all the blue, broken blue green cards? Mm-hmm. And green was so strong, it was able to stop blue mm-hmm. with Veil of Summer. Yep. Oh <laughs> Veil of Summer. And then, and then Wizards was like, no, green is too strong. We need blue to be as strong as green. We're not green stronger than blue, so we need to, we need to ban this. <laughs> you can't let this go through, man. And uh, what's that? What's that one card? Once more time, no, ban that too. <laughs> it's a bad card. <laughs> so, yeah, Rondi just, you know, hanging on for his dear life by with this lifelink sphinx. Yeah. But this things, looks things are not looking yeah. well. Like he has a full grip of lands in his hand. <laughs> I know why Rondi is losing. <laughs> why? Because he's playing white, the weakest color in Magic. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Press F for white folks. So, yeah. Favorite favorite passage finds another terror. Uh, uh, wow, I, I really like how uh his yeah, I like uh, I like his land management. His land management yeah, is on point. Right. Look at that, all the planes together with the castle Adamville, all the islands together, all the head of fountains together. Yo, something tells me Rondi was playing Magic this uh, sorry, Pokemon TCG before he came back to Magic. And here we come, another bus of <laughs> Melatis. <laughs> oh, fails to find Oh no, our cards, oh no. Oh, his deck is really thin now. Yeah. I think both their decks are thin. Bro. Yeah, I think, but I, I think Santoro is gonna deck out. Yeah. Yeah, that's why yeah. everyone needs to sideboard what Taurus, Tassos Oracle. In this meta, I think Tassos Oracle is. It's very good. It's very good. <laughs> I think you put it in your blue white control deck. Actually, very good. You draw so much cards that you. And then you have. Yeah, Dream Trawler is too blue devotion, eh? Yeah. And then you get the. The. the what? The Tassos Omen also. Nasset 2 devotion? Oh, Nasset also 2 devotion. Oh, eh? wow. the fairy one no, devotion? No, oh. wow. it, it all adds up, man. Eh? Yeah. Okay, okay. Try, try. <laughs> it's all coming together. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, more tree tree uh, uh, elemental creatures coming. Land creature? Land cre- elemental? They are elemental. Yes. Okay, so tap for an arbitrarily big amount of mana. Yep, so that's five. No, that's not five. Six. That's this. Uh, okay. Uh, Hydra Crisis is coming, I guess. Is he, uh, I I'm, I'd, be, I'd be really worried about decking myself out if I was JP Centauri right now, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> like, no joke. No, no Kappa. Oh, oh yes. no, oh. it's Finale of Devastation. And oh, this, is a counter, yeah, right? this is definitely immediately taps blue, blue, white <laughs> counters, absorbs, but, gains. But wait, folks. Stream on life. He has two in his deck. Why does the other one in his hand? Yep. So here we go. Another oh. one coming oh, out. No. Or is it a Tassa Sorek? No, oh, no. It's Wait, another please. finale of Devastation. Is he really going for it? Oh, he's counting. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Does he have enough? Oh, oh, oh. oh. One more. Here, comes. Here we go. Oh. Round two, Electric Boogaloo. And then oh. Rondi Sing, Rondi Sing, oh, yep, no. resolve, resolve. Oh. And then the end race for Rondi come down. It's the end. It's the end. Oh. Yep, and... Uh, Rondi is looking at his Heloid's intervention and like, 
Um, uh, maybe I could gain some life of this. No. Or maybe I die, die horribly to the audience. Yeah, the I think the Halo intervention is definitely going out of the cyborg. Yeah. So, so here actually, um, yeah, we saw this Simic Graham really resilient, able wow. to come back, claw his way through. That was all the unbelievable. Spells, all the bots. Actually, unbelievable. All the bot wipes and yeah. So oh scoops it up, gosh. and now we're gonna go to side bot. Yep. Yo. So there, are, there's a few useless cards that uh, Rondi has in his deck, like the the Heliod's intervention. Yes. Right. So th- those are definitely going out. Let's look at what Heliod's Hilo- intervention does. You just gain life and destroy artifacts or enchantments. enchantments. Yeah. The only enchantment Santorio has is uh, Taza, and that's destructible. <laughs> Man, that was that was that was a game, man. Yeah. That was a game and a half right there. So the thing is, like, I don't know if. Yeah, you definitely still keep the wins vitos in because you can counter. Those vitos are very good in this Because you can up. counter the finalists and you can counter Nis- Nissas. You counter ramp. Why would you want counter ramp? I don't know, man. No, so you counter Nissas and you counter uh uh finalists. That's all. The only two two, two things you hit because the rest are all creatures. Right. I think actually, I think actually think there's a argument for countering growth spiral. To be honest, uh, because it's te- it's a two for one. I mean, if your opponent's on the play, hmm. it is kind of two for one. Mm. I don't know. I, don't, I I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't trade a Dome Vito for a growth spiral. Yeah, but I think regardless, even if you're like trading your resources, we saw how Centurion was able to just draw. Somehow yeah, come back it, from the dead. It's, it's the grave. It's the graveyard of of the. Uro. It's, the it's the Uro and the Kabbalah. They they just keep coming back. Yeah, the Uro just keeps coming back. In the Uro, uh, when it comes back, you know what it does? It draws you a card. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> Infinite. Yo, how, wait, wait, how much? How many does it take to escape Uro? Four. Blue, blue, Four. Blue, green. So it's so it it reads blue 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 green flashback. Blue blue green green. Oh blue blue green green flashback. Draw a card. Gain three life. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> and money attacks. Uh, when attacks, draw card. Draw card. Draw card. life. Yeah. Wow. yeah. The Cavalier of Thorns and Uro combination is just yeah. really, really. Oh, wait. It, you know what color it is? Makes them go long. Is it the two best colors in Magic? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Problem. A mystery solved, folks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, and Rondi, Rondi really needs to. Okay, here's the problem, right? Now JP Santoro won game one. Mm-hmm. That's a big problem for Rondi. Yeah. <laughs> because his plan was to game what to win game one and then and then time up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not every blue white controller's plan, Alvian. <laughs> that would be my plan. <laughs> blue white control. <laughs> okay. Uh what else? Depending on his side, but I, I will also take out some birth of Manatees, I think. Not very uh, mm. not very good in this match. No, I agree. Birth of Manatees needs to go. Because yeah, I mean, it, help, it helps smooth out your draws. <laughs> right. But other than that... Both of Malatis, I would say, is only like in just because I of, of, of Mono Red. Yeah. Yo, we saw... Do you, if you were here earlier we, to, to cast that Mono Red game, it went fast. <sighs> do you see that Ember Cleave? That big, fat Ember Cleave just... Boom! You know, he just uh, how many creatures was it, were there? Like five. Really? Yeah, or oh. four. Five or four. Wait, how does Red have so many... Uh, she had a lot of creatures. Is it like all the Dodgers and Scotch Bitters and stuff? Yeah, yeah, mm. and yeah, he, he had like two, he had like two dodgers and like a uh, a steam kin, and then like uh, what's what's the big one? Bone Crusher Giant. Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, actually, yeah, mm. yeah that was Bone Crusher Giant. And Kong Kong, I just didn't have the removals. Yeah, and then and then when he said attack, they're like okay, there's a. Uh, and we'll like keep, keep on a giant. And we'll keep on a giant. Oh, it looks like Rondi's taking him out to six. Okay. <sighs> and he's going. First, okay, so yeah, it's okay. JP Santoro is smiling too. Mm. I actually like this new gameplay where people like mull a lot more right now. Mm-hmm. I remember last time when people were so afraid to mull, but now people are just mulling more liberally, which I think really promotes more, 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 high more games, more, more, games. more games, and more high powered games, mm. and less games where you just lose because you mull to five and you don't have anything. Mm. True, because this, this, this new variant of the mulligan is, yeah. is a bit more friendly. It is, it is, yeah. seeing seven cards is better than just seeing six, yeah. Right. Sometimes you want to see seven cards over... Sometimes you see, you see like, seven cards, it's, like, five real cards and two dead cards anyway. Mm. So, mm. It like, what's, it's, like, whatever. And that's like, you see you see a Dream Trailer, it's definitely bottoming that, I think. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Immediate bottom. <laughs> I think that's another one, actually. Because he has enough shuffle... He has, he has enough shuffle effects. 
Oh yeah, one thing about both of melodies is that you shuffle with that also. Oh okay. Right. Yeah. Is, well, why is it relevant in just that bro? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were had. I thought you had some sort of like. No, actually, actually, I think with like uh, a deck with so many square effects, like with the own of the sea, you don't even want to shuffle that much, right? Because yeah. after you scry, then you scry things to the bottom, then you well, shuffle I, them again. I think in a format like standard where you don't really have to min max very hard, you don't have to do it like, like say fetchless storm in modern. Because mm. there's like a lot of there's a lot of wiggle room in terms of power level over here, so you don't really have to like cut the cut the fetches or like right. cut the scry for one or the other. And that's Tassa's omen. Mm-hmm. Omen oh, of the sea. Scry. Okay. Is that oh yes, the wind's veto, sorry. Hmm. And the hollow fountain. Okay. Bottom. I I would I I would say yeah al- always in my turn two go spiral all the time. I mean you play four. That's true. That's true. Always turn <coughs> two Omar Rocky. Also true. Also true. <laughs> <laughs> what what the odds of seeing like a card in your opening hand when you have like four of them? Like hundred percent. No, it's not hundred percent. Fifty percent. Either you have it or you don't. <laughs> That's some Danny logic right there. <laughs> <laughs> you know who's not here? <laughs> Danny. I think I actually, actually think he already. I actually think he already uh qualified. qualified. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty good. Did he? I, I don't know. Oh, he, he, <laughs> correction, he didn't. Sorry. Guys. So he's out there playing more qualifiers. Yes, he's probably flat. He's probably uh, sorry the other place right now. <laughs> 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 All right. Wow, scry to the top. Oh, that. Oh and no. He, no, I mean you don't really want to do that. You don't. You don't scry. Things to I'm, I don't know. You don't scratch things to the top unless they're really. No, no, good. he scratched things to the top and then he immediately took it from the top of the deck and put it on the, on the battlefield. So maybe oh. it's like some mind games things like, oh, hey, yeah. I'm really desperate for lands. <laughs> I don't have anything in my hand. Oh, that's true, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, don't, I don't know. He's uh, like sh- showing that he's desperate for lands. He's like, I have so many answers in my hand. You better watch out. Leave King Druid? Nope, nothing. Draws into. Uh, Nasset. Nasset. Okay. Nasset's pretty good. Nasset's mm. gas. Yeah, but you know what Nasset doesn't do? Find your lands. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, like uh, oh. Rondi is, is really uh, hurting for lands, I think. Do we, you, are you desperate to win? Oh, yes, now this is whole dispute. Dispute or veto? No, see, uh, Santoro can pay for the dispute. Oh, okay, veto. Okay, you're yeah. right, you're right. Sorry. He's getting vetoed. Yeah, and Nasset has no threat of dying unless uh, of a... Oh, the fairy. The fairy. Unless Anissa comes down, actually. So, okay. I think if Anissa comes down, then Rondi's in... R- r- uh, Rondi's dead. Yeah, Rondi's dead. Literally dead trouble. Spot. Nope, oh. four mana. Four? Okay, four. Okay. Four. Tasa. Shifting Ceratops. Oh, oh no. No. <laughs> no. It's not what you want to see as a blue eye control player. Oh, no. Uh, I mean, they still Shadow the Sky, but... Yeah, he has, he has it in his hand, I think. Mm. But this is still like, oh no. This is this is Pepega. This is Pepega right here, man. Pe- Pepe hands. Yep, Shadow the Sky. sky. Shadow the Sky give your opponent, dr- makes it, oh, target opponent draws a card. Yeah. Counters. And another counter. Oh no. Alright. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so Temple of Mystery off the top. Yeah. Seems like... Ooh, this? that looks like... Risen uh, Reef. Risen Reef. Reef. Okay, yeah. Risen Reef is pretty good. Tap 4. Here we go. Uh, uh, Tassa, the Deep Dwelling. Oh, and Deep Dwell. Dwell so again. deep. Uh, Alright. Dwell so deep. Okay, n- not much of a threat. Oh, yep. no, Conquering death conquers the Tassa. The god has been conquered. And... No, yeah. Rondi is just hurting for lands while Santoro is just flooding out. And his, oh yeah, his Risen Reef is just, ooh, Ventress. <laughs> I like how JP attacks and then minus his own life. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, it's been a long day, man. He minus his own life. By one. Yeah, by one. <laughs> Hydroid Crisis. Is this a Hydro Crisis? Yeah, it's a Hydro Crisis. Uh, it's a big ass Hydro Crisis. Force. <laughs> Dodgers, Elspeth conquers death. Wow. One, two, three. Oh my god, so oh. much gas. There's Nissan oh, in his hand gas. as well. Oh. Nissan and a Cavaliers. Oh no. Yo, this is gas. I'm actually not sure how JP Santoro loses from this spot. Mm. 
Yeah, I know, right? I mean, there's a the ferry down there. You know what? After look after looking at this meta, I think the reason why Ilham didn't bring John Sacrifice today was pretty obvious. Yeah, bring John. Bring John Sacrifice. If you know the field, right? If you bring John Sacrifice to this field, it's like you're asking to zero two, which Il- which Ilham did by the way. <laughs> Ilham, Ilham zero two. Oh, he won two. Okay. Yeah, different. One two, not zero two. Yeah. You play the ferry and then you <laughs> just play just Cobalt la. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> John, sacri- John Sacrifice yeah. splashing blue white. <laughs> <laughs> How do I resolve my my cover? Oh, I just have the ferry on board la, so my opponent cannot counter my cover. Right? Yeah, the <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that? <laughs> yeah, that's why Nick Mizzet. Nick Mizzet's like modestly costed. You know, you can you can splash for him. Alright, so <laughs> oh no, taking six from the hydro. Why is he minusing himself? I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> he realizes it. <laughs> oh no, he gets uh, he gets a lot of life too. Yeah. No, why is he why did he flip it down? <laughs> he flipped it down. He flipped it down. <laughs> he got just the life of death. Oh the the phone. <laughs> he flipped the phone down after he checked the card. It. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Just, just, just flip it up. Just flip it up. Just flip it up. Just flip it up. <laughs> uh, so I think is coming down. I mean, your opponent tapped out. Wow, this is, uh, this the, is the dream for a uh, for a blue this green. Is, this is easy breezy, folks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, grow spiral. Uro, uro. Yeah, grow spiral on stick. Yeah. Goes right on stick. Oh, that art looks art looks, 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 looks similar, man. <laughs> I mean, because it's a gold card, gold border, and then the the, the art has like a lot of green. No. Wow. So seven mana. Draw two cards. Gain six life. Wow. Mm, have a six six body. Ah, so gas. So much gas. Here we come. Shatter the sky. Shatter all the skies. So yeah, oh, I'm really <sighs> curious as to wonder as as to why. Do you draw it? I draw don't know. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Digging for a shuttle sky. No, no. shuttle. No. Has another mystery. Ether gas. Just ether gas. Ether gas. Okay. The yeah, I don't think he has a shuttle sky because he would not have played the 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 sphinx other otherwise, right? Yeah. So cast the, the fairy. fairy. Bounce? Uh, bouncing U- Uro probably. Either bounce Uro or the or the Hydra Crisis actually. Oh boy. It feels so bad to bounce on Hydra Crisis. Yeah, I know, right? If that's Hydra Crisis, you're like asking to die. As yeah, I don't, I don't think player. he uh, yeah, actually bounces it. Wow. I mean, he doesn't have a choice, right? Yeah. He can't take nine. He can't take six. Is you bounce the Hydra Crisis or you take a million damage? Yeah. Yep, attacks. Gains. Uh, against five life. Okay. Uh, okay, hollow fountain mm-hmm. takes two life. Mm-hmm. What does he have? What does he have? Five mana. Absorb and deep Oh deep no, he does. He has just a scar on his hand. He does. Yeah, yeah, it's right there. That's really interesting. Because he's leaving his uh, place focus unprotected to Uro and the Risen Reef. Yeah. Cause now he's the fairy just dies to U- Risen Reef and then the Nasir just dies to the Uro. So yeah, I'm really curious as to why he's doing this. And Shatter the Sky after the Hydra Crisis resolves as if like, you know, he didn't draw enough cards from the Hydra Crisis cast in game cast. You draw another card from Shatter the Sky. Yeah, wow. So Nissa Nissa coming down. Nisa it's gonna I think it's gonna world. meet a it's probably gonna meet a uh counter spell. Yeah, he has to like t- two absorbs. Yeah, he absorbs. Yep, so the first absorb coming down. But now he only has enough mana for a Dovin's Veto. Which cannot counter a Hydra Crisis. So no, Hydra Crisis is probably going to come down now. It's going to attack first. Attack the... Attack the Teferi. Okay. And the... Uh, oh, Aether Gas coming Aether in. Gas. Ah, holding up the Aether Gas for that. Ooh, at bottom. Okay. To keep the Teferi... Yep, so here we go. Hydra Christie is coming down for a bit. Yep. 
Okay, it's not not very big hundred crazy. So that's for five. For five, yeah, he still draws two and gains two though. Draw two, gain two is a five five. Uh, just enough to trigger. Oh, you can't draw. Oh. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, he has another one in his hand, so I guess it's okay. But the thing is, you don't want to cast Shadow of the Sky because you have your own swings. Yeah. But he, I think he has to anyway. I, I don't think so. I think he can just keep the Hydra Crisis at bay okay. by finding more... Um, more removal. Either more... Yeah, more pseudo removal, I guess. Because with the Nasset down, you don't really care. Right. I think your opponent just waste. Does this deck even have any form of like hard removal? A Vanishing Light. Right. I've not seen it. Uh, he he did he did cast it before on, oh, okay. on the Wilderness Reclamation. Oh, remember, right, right, right. I think he plays like one or two, okay, but he's just not seeing it. Fair. So yeah, the fairy coming down is probably gonna bounce the Hydra Crisis again. <laughs> right, casting the the fairy and bouncing the. So I'm I'm curious as to why he didn't uh why JP didn't attack the the fairy with the Risen Reef. You see, hmm. So wow, this Sphinx attacking in for six because he drew a card with the fairy. Oh. Cuts. Yeah, free damage, free life, mm. and um, I would I would even <laughs> cast the Elspeth Conquer Staff I think on the on the Risen Reef. Okay, would you? Why not? I mean, yeah, just just to just to get get on. The and field, you protect right? and you protect your Teferi as well. Yeah, but now the Teferi is open to the Risen Reef being a uh, uh, just swinging in, so I'm not really sure as to why he's not doing this. No, now he's attacking the Teferi. Yeah, and he just lets the Teferi die. Okay, yeah, he doesn't really care. Yeah, I, I, I guess he doesn't really care because the Earthbound Conquest just bring, brings back um, yeah. things anyway. Yep, so it uh, allows the... Two Risen Reefs. Oh, two triggers. Wow. Reason reef. Uh, what, what is going to happen? Uh, third Risen Reef. <laughs> okay, just two. Oh, another two triggers because of Lifkin, Lifkin Druid draws uh, Laser Land. Oh, Land? And another land. land. Scry one. Triggers on triggers. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is we we try to sway to see a bomb another here. Another leaf kindred. Wow. Yeah. More triggers. Where's the bomb, man? So I, I Centaur is, is wow. His hand is stacked. Doesn't want to cast the other. Oh, okay. More stuff. Doesn't isn't there another leaf kindred? No, no, he can't. He can't cast the Hydra Crisis because then he no, won't draw. No, no, not the Hydra Crisis. The oh, I think another I th yeah, I think his hand will be too full. Mm. Yeah, yeah, his hand yeah, is way six. too full. Okay. Yeah, I'm just attacking in. He just... Uh, yeah, I'm just coming in. You know, I think but at this point, Rondi is at like, what, 20-something life or Santoro is at like, what, 10 plus life. So, yeah. the, essentially, the lives are reversed. Uh, yeah, finds a Dovin's Veto. Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, for the uh, finale of Devastation. Well, it's, I think slowly... Uh, Chris Rondi is clawing himself back into the game. Mystical dispute coming in. Right. I think you counter that. Paying three. Oh, he's paying. Okay. Okay. And I said digging again. Digs f find something. Looks like no. Nope. a lot of lands, man. <laughs> yeah, I think it was three lands and and something. And another, another land. Three islands and another land. Because Nasa hits everything, right? Sorry? Nasa hits uh, non creature. Distance and source. Oh, no, no, non creatures, you're right. Yeah, non creatures. So it hits everything except Dream Trawler. One, two. On the top. Hmm. Let's see if. Oh, now we're going. We're almost at time already. I think JP, uh, all JP needs to do is just. Hold on there a bit longer. And he drop decks a uh, shifting ceratops, I think. So mm. it's also a pretty good card to have. Yeah, I, I don't really like the way Rondi plays, where he like taps out so much of his mana. Cause Wait. he's he's just he just has one counter spell. You think he's too aggressive? Holding up. Yeah. You think he's too aggressive as I a I think so. Player? I think so. Right now, a cavalier is coming down. That's gonna that's gonna eat a counter spell, right? Right. So if you if you counter this, then so you don't counter this, and then now it blocks your your wing con of the of the sphinx. Mm. Hmm. But okay, actually no, because Rondi has the Elsa Conquest death in oh his yeah, hand. Oh yeah, 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 that's true. He also has shattered. He still has 
he still has Shadow of the Sky if he wants to pull the trigger in time. Yeah, but Shadow of the Sky kills your own Sphinx. Yeah. And I think you only like run one Sphinx. <laughs> so <laughs> if you kill your own Sphinx, you need that Alpha Conquer that's to bring the Sphinx back. All right. Mm. Why do I always get these long, <laughs> long ass <laughs> games? It's okay, bro. God damn it. You're here with me. Ryan, you're here with me. Yes. <laughs> We're in this together. All right. Hydro Crisis is coming in for a, okay. f- a, f- a few. Yes. All right. S- Nasa is still on the field, okay? Okay. Nasa is still on the field. So he does gains life. Uh. <laughs> okay. I think he just wants a beat stick to be honest. And absorb. Okay. Absorb. So, but he's still g- I don't understand. Of uh, course it's a flying it's a flying it's a flying blocker. Oh has another, another one. Another one. Oh, oh no. And another one. Yeah, he just needs the blockers. Cause I think he's like a few swings away from dying. Alright. I saw So I think what what Krish has to do here now is just shatter the sky. Right. I mean, it's it's so hard to not take this trade. This one for like uh five. <laughs> one card wipe your entire opponent's board. You don't have to hmm. Okay, if you go passage. If you go passage coming down. Cause he needs to spend three removals. On his opponent's board, because there's two, there's no two removals actually, because there's the Cavalier and the Hydra Crisis. So, is it just two removals or one Shatter the Sky? Although that will take away his Spring Corn of the Dream uh, Trawler. So, what's happening now? Ospeth conquers death. Conquering the... He didn't draw cards. Yes, mobile intervention. He didn't draw cards because there is a... There's a Nasset on the field. field. <laughs> he yep. can't draw cards from... He can't draw cards for the crisis. Yep, so exiling the Cavalier. Okay. Is he going to bounce the crisis again? Well, I, I think it's fine. He can't draw off the crisis anyway. Yeah. Doesn't seem like anything's going to happen. Attacking in. To draw a card. Okay. Block, yep. blocks, trades. Okay. Wow. Okay. I guess cause he he's banking on the fact that his Elsa Conquer Death will bring back the hmm? trawler soon. Shatter the sky. Oh, shatter sky. He still draw. He yeah. He draws off it because he has not drawn off of the Nasset yet. Yep. Okay. So Rondi just wants to gain that like five life. Yeah. And and the attacking trigger of the Sphinx, I guess. Uh, cause he gets a draw card. So this is turn one for JP Centurion. Turn one on zero. Okay, and uh, he top decks uh, the Cavalier of Thorns, of course. So Very Nisa, cool. Nisa. Uh, oh, it says Nisa. Sorry, sorry. My bad, my bad. Mm. He attacks the 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 Nasset. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Oh, thi- and this is the Cavalier of Thorns. Things are looking quite bad for Rondi. Yep. Rondi is in a pretty bad spot. I like this game. At least, at least, on the at the very least, this game was like back and forth a bit. Yeah. Right? Correct. Correct. So at least we didn't see like a one sided. I mean, the first game was also pretty back and forth until yeah. until the end where they grinded out until Santoro was able to just yeah beat I th- through all the all the counter spells. Is th- could this be finally? Could we finally be seeing the deck that Blue Eye Control just can't grind out? This is. This has to be the most grindiest iteration of a ramp deck I have seen in my entire yeah. life. Yeah. <laughs> my entire life. So dramatic. <laughs> what? I'm not being dramatic. I'm being true. Because every, every card either draws you cards. Every card says draw a card at yeah. the end of it. What? <laughs> so even even if you... Yeah, so dumb. Even if you... You know what? Reef? You don't draw a card. It's not. You do. It's you know how he, hand. he was able. He was able to resolve with the trigger four times in the same turn because Nasset didn't say. Oh, you you can't get that card. You can you can't draw, but you can look at the top tray and put one in your hand. Head, oh yeah. wow! <laughs> All right, so yeah, r- there I've stood up. Ronnie just concedes. He's like, yep, yeah. this this. Round four, I've had enough of this. JP Santorio takes one round four, uh, two zero in a. 
go, went to time, but it still won 2 0. So, yep. good job, Sebi Santorio. Good deck, very good deck. All right, so we'll be back shortly um, f- after this. Yes, we'll be back for very round sh- five. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes. Me and Randall, Randall and I. All right, the last round of the uh, yes. before before the top eight. Yes, the top eight. And we'll, yeah, next, next, next round will be the highest of all high stakes, the top eight of all top eight. All right, eight. see you guys in a bit. Goodbye.